Pokemon Pocket, why is it so addictive? A question that we're all asking ourselves. And I think graphics has to be one of the biggest parts for this game. Um, it's got really nice, simple layouts everywhere in the game. But then of course, it's got that Pokemon artwork, which has to be, in my opinion, probably the best in the world. Uh, you know, even compared to some of like the old school guys like Leonardo da Vinci, Picasso, step aside, Pokemon's in town. But yeah, you know, Pokemon always brings it and they are so well known for their artwork. And we've got Charizard, we've got Mewtwo and we've got Pikachu, obviously being the main faces for Pokemon Gen 1. And if we have a look at these cards as well, like even the packs that you open, like they've got that sort of, they give that illusion that it looks like tinfoil and it feels so nice when you do sort of open them up and you can rip off the seal and then you get to see your cards. But we just stop here as well, like, the artwork on the cards obviously is going to be top quality because it is Pokemon. Raichu, Bring in the Thunder. Um, this is actually one of my favorite cards. It is a, a bad card, but from an art point of view, it is just so sick. Like, I'm just a sucker for watercolors and just the design and stuff. It just looks so boss. Um, I guess then the next thing would be is if we look at the... Um, our deck so I'll just have a look a few more so we've got Bulbasaur as well and yeah another watercolor one I just can't help myself Rapidash as well just it just looks so good like just it's beautiful it is just beautiful um there are some that I'm not such a big fan of like I'm not so keen on the 3d ones like the Venusaur and Pikachu um definitely prefer 2d artwork in this case uh, but there's so much and it, there is so many beautiful cards like just there's no other word for it really they're just this is a nice one as well and um, and that brings me to the next thing is that collection element so there's 226 cards in the game at the moment um and i'm free to play do not spend money on this game you do not need to spend money and we've already got 169 cards in two weeks i'm pretty casual as well i don't go hard on this game and it's pretty generous. They are very generous with uh, the cards that you can pick up. And then I guess if we just sort of come back to how we get our cards and that's through opening up packs. So just a little quick trick is you get these hourglasses, save up to 120 and it means you can open up a 10 pack instead of just one. And, you know, I guess it's that collection element trying to get all these Pokemon cards, got to catch them all. And, you know, there's Mewtwo up for grabs, which is a sick card. Really want to try and get my hands on that, you know, or Charizard. And getting that card, like you're always chasing that carrot and you get that big dopamine hit when you get that card that you're finally after or just a really big card as well. It doesn't always have to be the one you're after. But yeah, like Blastoise and Venusaur as well just looks so good. And then... The next thing that I really enjoy this game is building decks as well. So you get that element of building your decks out. And we're just going to do like a new one. And like, you know, just sort of building out. So say we're like, oh, well, we like Venusaur. Unfortunately, we don't have too many, but we'll do our Venusaurs. And then we'll be like, oh, we like Butterfree as well. That's a nice combo. And it's just like putting combos together, figuring things out for yourself. And then, you know, doing different combos with the trainer cards as well. And yeah, it's just really, really fun. Just, you know, building your decks out and then just testing them out. So if we just come out and then we're going to go to, well, let's go against the computer. We'll keep it nice and simple and we'll go against War Turtle and we are going to use my Electric Balls deck. And you'll see here, like, the animation is so good. Like, really nice, clean, crisp, um, like, layout for all the cards. We've got Pikachu EX. Nice. That's a good starting card. And then we're going to start the battle. And I just love, like, all these little animations. Like, the camera zooming in is zooming out. And the background's changed as well for the table. Just, like, nice, simple little animations. So let's uh, drop Professor Oak. And then we're just picking up cards and the really slick, smooth animation, like how the cards come in and out. And let's just drop our Pokeball or drop Voltorb as well. 
Well, that's nice. We've got Voltorb and Zapdos as well. And I do want to just sort of show you Pikachu's like uh, ability in action, just so we can see some of the animation. If I was going to critique the game though, it is it does have really nice, simple, basic um, like mechanics. So it's easy for anyone to pick up. The only thing I would say that it's maybe a little bit too simple. And um, if you were to compare it to say, TCG Live, personally, I still prefer Live. I feel that Live just has, it's slightly more complex and it does take a little bit longer to pick up, but it just keeps you coming back for more with, I could see people getting bored with um, with Pocket, but Pocket still, oh, that was a mistake. Uh, so I didn't want to drop that card, I wouldn't drop Magna Knight. And we're just going to do Circuit. So let's just watch this. Pow, card comes up electric bolts fly out and then we'd get the kill um but i think yeah one of the things with pocket though is that it is a bit simple but it's still in the early days you know there's no arena yet it doesn't have like a ranked system but i'm sure that will come and they will definitely bring out more cards as the game goes on and the more popular it becomes but um, it is such a great little game, though. It is really fun to play. I'm just hoping that they build on it. And this is sort of like a stepping point. And they'll just build on top of it. But yeah. But yeah, it's a great game. It's super addictive. And if you love Pokemon, of course, when it comes out. And it's coming out pretty soon. Like, it's only on, uh, in New Zealand at the moment. But when it does go live for the rest of the world in, like, the next couple of, like, five days, everyone's going to be on this. Make sure you get hands on it because it is a great game. Uh, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace.